If you've ever said something that was crystal clear to you but was interpreted as meaningless drivel by anyone who heard it, you're a long way from being alone. You either come to the conclusion because of that that the world's full of idiots and become a hermit, or you decide you've got to fix it at your end. And I was thrust unexpectedly into a world where communication was a primary skill when I became a high school teacher. It was very much a case of sink or swim because I spent most of each day locked in a room with 24 kids who had access to an array of deadly weapons like chisels and knives and toxic chemicals. It was communicated efficiently and effectively or quit. And as an educator, I survived and then I graduated from kids to adults, discovering along the way that people who can give themselves permission to leave the room often actually do that. If the speaker's message isn't relevant and riveting, listeners just get the wonders. So I quickly realised as a professional communicator it was either nail a subject or starve. So if you'd like to be understood first time more often, here's my tips on how to do that. First, you have to get their attention. Nearly everyone these days is preoccupied with Facebook and phones and banks calling and kids wellbeing and what's for dinner, etc. And you have to cut through all of that. And the easiest way to do that is to make some bold, audacious statement, question or proposal. And if you can't think of something that grabs your attention like a car crash, you might as well not bother opening your mouth in the first place because they're only listening with 10% of their capacity. Second, you have to give them a reason to stay with you. If you don't explain why listening to you is the best possible use of their time, they're going to get on with something that is a better use of their time. Third, you need to call out a specific problem that you're going to explain, make go away, solve or disrupt it. There's nothing worse than listening to someone get around to saying what they want to talk about, especially when they then go ahead at the pace of a snail and pussyfoot around possible solutions. Fourth, ask for action. Request that they join you on your quest, tell you to get out of the way, warn them about the danger, get them to take a position or offer an opinion, but get them to do something, even if they're telling you they're going to do nothing. Otherwise, you're not communicating, you're just socialising.